Here's the problem, rational water. An explorer is stranded in the desert, but fortunately comes upon a cache of water and the trail to safety. Rescue lies at the 11th way station along the trail, hiking from the cache to the first way station or from one way station to the next requires drinking one liter of water to survive. The explorer can only carry seven liters at a time and still navigate the treacherous trail. The explorer can, however, carry water to any of the way stations and leave some there as a smaller cache, making sure to always carry enough water for the next hike. In this way, the explorer can gradually work closer to the 11th way station and escape from the desert. What is the minimum number of liters of water required for the explorer to reach safety? So a great thing to do when you don't know where to begin, if you can't solve the problem you got, find a problem you can solve. It means that if we can get seven liters of water, seven way stations away from our solution, we'll be in good shape. How do I get seven liters there? Working backwards, and that's the key to this problem like so many problems, how many liters would we need to have one way station earlier? So I could take seven liters, and by the time I got there, I would only have six liters left. So I can drop five liters, and then I use up one more liter to get back. But I've only got five liters at, at the way station where I want to have seven. Now I only need to put three liters on my back. I walk to that way station, drinking one liter, and now I've got two liters left, and here I am. I'm in a situation where I have seven liters, seven way stations away from rescue, and I'm in good shape. So how many total liters did I need? I needed the seven liters from that first trip to drop some off, and I needed three more for the second trip. So I need a total of 10 liters here, and that's the minimum, eight way stations away, in order to get out of the desert safely. Now we see the idea, we can keep moving back to an earlier way station, nine way stations away. I've gotta get 10 liters to the next one, so I can use seven liters to drop off five, and then I need five more. Fortunately, I can carry that many, so I start out with six more. If I have 13 liters at the one nine way stations away, uh, I'll be solved. How many liters do I need at this way station 10 away from the end in order to get 13 at the next one? I gotta take seven liters to drop off five, then I'll have five liters over here, but now I can't fit the other eight liters that I need on my back, so I gotta do another trip of seven liters to drop off five. At that point, I've got 10 liters at the next way station. That's good because now on my third trip, I can just start out with four liters. I use up one that gives me the last three liters I need to get 13 liters. Seven plus seven plus four is 18 liters. That's the minimum I need at 10 way stations away from the end. And now we're ready to solve the problem. At 11 way stations from the end, which is where the Explorer starts, how many liters do I need to get 18 liters at the next way station? Well, I'll take one trip with seven liters to drop off five. Another trip with seven liters to drop off five. I need eight more. So I gotta do a third trip of seven liters to drop off five. Now I've got 15 liters at the next way station. I only need three more. Those fit on my back, so I can put four on my back. I drink one to get there. Now I've got 18 liters at the next way station. And in order to get that, I needed seven plus seven plus seven plus four is 25 liters of water. So the minimum number of liters of water I need is 25. For more varsity math, go to wsj.com slash puzzles.